Are we in? Four seasons. Bro, do you know what, yeah? There's a few things I actually wanted to say about it, but the last message at the end is beautiful, bro. The lo- like what you said at the end is it's, it's sensational. I, f- I felt that. I actually wow. felt that. That was proper genuine. You I know, felt I that, actually, bro. I could tell as well. It was proper genuine. I could tell. I could tell that was genuine. I was super high. There was no way I could lie. <laughs> is it, yeah? I know. You see, with four seasons, I know where I want to be and the space I'm and I am when I want to listen to that now. Like, mm. I feel like for me, it's. Funny enough, it's an evening thing for me. It isn't. It's an it evening thing for me. So like, I started listening to it yesterday, um, during the day and that. But I was I was doing bare things or whatnot. Yesterday now, I've like I'm on my way to go and play at some private party. There's a, a a lady that I always like. I'll always still just play it for her stuff. She's like she does house parties or whatever. So I'm driving. I'm listening to this and I'm saying, yo, this feels perfect for the on the way home, you know. So anyway, I started listening to it on the way home. Sensational, sensational, bro. Really good, bro. Thank you so much. No bro. cap, like really, really good, man. You should be proud of that. This one feels like it's like um, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I've I'm looking at this wrong, but I feel like it's definitely you have been a strong driving force in this. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just trapped my, my finger in the door. It's really hurting. Sorry. Just in case. Oh, is that always the case? No, so this one was, we're trying to do this whole new thing we're doing like um, Viva Presents and we yeah. want to work with loads of different artists and do four tracks of them. And this is an example of how we would want to do it where it's geared primarily by one, one person right. with the assistance of TJ. Okay. So like, I TJ raps him, on it as well. He does. Yeah, he raps on Autumn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, um, and then you've got like the Harry Pinero voice note in between yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Woo. So, um, but yeah, so the first track that I sent him for the project to say, yo, we're doing the Four Seasons was Spring. So I heard Sunbeams by Jay Diller. Mm-hmm. And at the start of Sunbeams, there's like a 15 second part where he goes, dun, 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 before mm. it breaks down into what the beat is going to be. And I was like, oh, imagine that looped. My finger's really hurting. Imagine that loop, that would sound <laughs> crazy. <laughs> So like I, we looped it yeah. and then I just like started rapping over it, send it over to him and he goes, whoa. And then obviously the, what you hear then is just so far removed from what I sent him. He just made it to a next mad thing. And then that's pretty much how the project started. So kind it's of, spring the first, that's the first song, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And then it goes into, do you know what? This is the next thing that I liked, yeah? So it goes into the one with Louis Ray, right? Yeah. But do you know what I liked? I liked how it went from, you're hearing that, whatever that sample is, then when it goes into the next one, it's like, it's almost continuous. Yes, 100%. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Like, Very that's, that's 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 structure to me. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And then Lou, I think, I feel like I've heard that before though. Yeah, you I might have played that to me, ago. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Time yeah. ago, I sent it to Yeah, you. he said that to me on a voice note. Whatever. And then we just changed a couple of things about it. Hey, Louis is too cold, you know. So I smooth. swear down, this brother is crazy. He's so versatile. He's so versatile. You know, like, obviously he's doing the, it's like, He's doing the singing thing, then he's like doing the harmonies, but the harmonies are too, it's too uh, R&B. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, uh, bro. And it was, to me, it was perfect to get Louis Ray on it because Summer, like Western, yeah, like, yeah. come on, they're so, so, so Summer. And even the way the song came about was so weird. I said the other day, yeah, like, imagine, Skits just came back to my crib one time with Louis. Like, like, 11.30. A random one, like, all right, cool. So we're jamming, kicking it for time. The music Louis Ray plays me of his own mm. is, is, I, I can't find words for it. It's absolutely out of this world. Hey, brother. Like, different themed mixtapes that are unreleased. So uh, then we just get into this music conversation of like, bro, what do you think of this then? My man sends me, he leaves my house, he sends me that hook 15 minutes after he's left the house. Oh, mad. In the car driving back. Mad. And I'm just like, there's really levels to this music. Yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like you, you might get sound after a month. Like I am not sending you something 15 minutes Brother, like that. He's after, ba- nah. Do you know? I can't remember. Like one of my favorite things is watching the recording process or like how people create music. How they, like even just for some people it'd be very boring. But for me, I as a people watcher anyway, 
I enjoy watching people either writing lyrics down on a piece of paper and then going over it in their yeah, head yeah, yeah, and yeah. then seeing them go in the booth and do it or seeing the person walking around in circles. You know what I mean? That's me. Until they until they get in and go in the booth. I love watching that shit. That's I love me. watching producers um, start off with a something that is like so, just like one little beat and then it turning into something. And sometimes it takes ages. But one time... I was here. It's not even that long ago. Yeah. Um, in this very studio, yeah. Oh, yeah, you um, spoke about this. No, nah, it wasn't a Dexter Daps day. Oh. It wasn't was a Dexter Daps day. It was another day. Now, nah, maybe I think what happened was we might have recorded and then I might have... Louis came in because he had a session afterwards or they had a session and I stayed, yeah, didn't he I? He had a meeting. He had a meeting. And then you were just in the room. He done kicked me out. Yeah. That might have been it. There was a producer. Yeah, it was a producer. All right. Yeah, so it was something like that anyway. Yeah. So he was obviously, yeah, he's had his meeting or whatever. Then he's like, um, a beat started playing. So he's like, he's Louis, Louis standing there, yeah. And he's just like, he's sort of pacing around, yeah. But you could see that he's like getting like a little harmony going on. Bro, within like 15 minutes, yeah, this man started coming with the coldest bar. The coldest bar Too with cold. inner harmony, bro. He's bro. He's even. And do you know what's so sick about him as well? Even the way he can coach something out of you. Okay. A skill that you didn't even know you had. Like okay. even the way man's come on the rhythm. Yeah. That's all Louis Ray and skits. Like it's all Louis Ray really. Like he's just, po nah. And then you know they're sitting in the studio and then you record it again and there's no response. And then all of a sudden, it's, yo, you're like, yes, we did, we've done it, we've done it. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, and yeah. he was, the way he explains yeah. it, like, he just expl- I kept doing it, and then he goes, come out. And then he just explained it one time, and when i done it, I was like, raw, like, yeah. this guy really knows what he's talking about. Like, it's, yeah. like, I have to say, studio, in order for you to get a good project where you're working with someone else on the track, you actually have to strip back your ego. Like, yeah, completely. 100. When you walk into the studio, just like, leave your ego on the close hanger yeah. and then come in and then just have a conversation because the things you're open to learning and the way your vocal will change and things like that bro is ridiculous and yeah I thank Louis for that as well because yeah bro like you said you saw it 15 minutes in the flesh my guy he just drove off you gotta concentrate on driving big man yeah, yeah, how no. are you even multitasking like yeah, this yeah I know and, and I, I know as well when he does them freestyles yeah where's my phone He's got he did one the other day didn't he in his car, oh, in the one in car. Paris. Yeah, was it? In, was it? Was he in Paris? He's in Paris. Niggas was in Paris. You know, it's one of them ones where I know, yeah, I, do. I know he was probably just driving, and then after a while, he's just coming up with this shit, bro. Bro, hundred <laughs> percent. It's crazy. Wait, did he? By the way, uh, have you got oh, a charge for this? Brother, he's too, he's Brother got, he's Louis ducking. Ray is he's so du- smooth with it and just... Bro, I could never... I would never we've, said, we've said this a, a bunch of times here, but like, for me personally, when it comes to this as well, I don't... I, don't, I never let his name go under the radar when, yeah, when we come to... When we talk about rap conversations of rappers. You don't. Like, Louis has to always be mentioned in the room. He has yeah, to be yeah. mentioned in the room. And if you listen to what rap, like, rappers mention him, because yeah. like if you're a rapper and you like you, you really can like you really want to have a dope pen, you're gonna be listening to people that inspire you, or you're gonna be listening mm. to people that challenge your pen. You know what I'm coming from. I know if you're on the tune of Louis Ray, your pen gotta be hot. It's gotta be a strong pen. You can't go there on just a meaty yeah. 16. You've got to have your best 16 strapped up because Louis can really bar. It's like, he's gonna give you melodies. He's gonna give you different cadences. He's gonna even like how many different flows are in that one. Type yeah, of bar, just yeah. describing the most simple stuff, but the way he's laid it out is just mad, crazy, man. Like, he's didn't you, crazy? Didn't you have? Wasn't you recording with Benjamin Ad? Oh, I've got, I've got that rhythm there as well. We're gonna go back into studio. Um, Benjamin sent me something, and um, so why yeah. didn't it make it? Was you only ever gonna? No, that's, for a, that's gonna be for the third project. So like, right. we're releasing three projects. Um, that was four seasons, which is primarily just my perspective. Then the next project we're gonna release is the the 
project off the back of the project that we done with you. Right. So we done Guy Fawkes with you. Yeah. So we're doing Gal Fawkes now. Oh, right. And I'm speaking okay. to Henry to get Henry on it. And Henry's yeah. like, you know, to, to play the same role that you played. Yeah. Um, and we've got like two songs there. And we're going to get like someone else in studio. We've got Lila Gold coming to studio yeah, yeah. to jump on that project. But then we've got Penny Loafer. Right. And on Penny Loafer, like we've got potentially one mad collab. But I have to, I want to get the 16 laid with that one before I say it. And then, yeah, we've got this Benjamin AD track that's going to go on Penny, Penny Loafer as well. And we're just trying to find, like, we're trying to make the song, yeah, that is, like, the cool 60-year-old version of that one type of place. So, like, I, I want to find, like, a cool Jamaican type of sound. I think I sent it to you, a song called Balance. Yeah. Where it's got, like, a cool Yardy vibe to it. I don't remember that, actually. I'll play it to you. Like, we've got yeah. ones, like, just, like, a cool Yardy vibe. So, like, Alicia, I don't know, you, you might be sitting down with your uncle one day. And he just play that rhythm or your, your granddad and you go, yo, that rhythm's tough, you know. I want to find, like, skits. I want to find the Filipino version of that skits. Like, where, where, what's your uncle or your granddad going to hear yeah. you play and go, yo, that's kind of crazy, you know. Uh, or, uh, uh. So I want to try and make a project like that. And we call it Penny Loafer because it's that type of shoes that, you know, them type of no, uncles and be wearing and shit. So, yeah, we're, that's the project that Benjamin AD is going to be on. Um. Okay, cool. And one more thing. Yeah. Like maybe this is a bit of a deep one, <laughs> but what made your because you you got your mum on there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made her say that? Like, what, what, what? Do you remember the conversation you were yeah. having with her for her to say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched bear my content, like bear my content, and I was like, mum, like that energy there that I've just felt of watching the back of that, like makes me question my character type of thing, like. And then she said that. Hey, that's, do you know what? It's like, I remember a time where your relationship with your parents and that wasn't necessarily in the greatest space. Nah. But I love where you and your mum is today. Yeah. Or how it has been maybe over the last few years. I'm not sure like when it all like, f like started to feel better. But I, I love that, man. I love where you, you two you are at the moment i think it's probably really good for you as well still proper and it was yeah that was a mad thing because it was just watching that content back and then feeling the energy i felt i was like mom i'm getting an idea of why people are talking to me the way they are because mm. if that's their entry point for a long period of time that kind of comes like who you kind of are so i was like mom i need to figure out how to get out of that pattern of routines because i won't be able to say to somebody that's not me if I'm looking at it and saying, that is me, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so then like, <coughs> my mum was just, yeah, that, that's what I'm like. I, get, I think I think it's the same for my mum. My mum's like, but over the course of your life, that hasn't been you. And if you can take a look at the things that are happening around that time, then it's going to make sense on why you've just been this person for a period of time. You've just mm. got to trust that you can get back to that space. Yeah. So it was just, and then she went off, off the back of that um well, it's not. She spoke about environments and environments you need to place yourself in in times of healing. Right. And how long you need to be in an environment in a time of place of healing in comparison to a time where you're just cool. Yeah. She goes like, in a time of healing, it's harder to fight off the devil. But then like, when you're in a good space, you could just go anywhere. You could go to a dance. Right. Have your wedding ring on your finger and feel no way. Yeah. But if you're just in a bit of a place where you're a little bit more insecure, you can go to that same dance and you could be swayed to go and do something purely because you're just in a really low frequency. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. just about, yeah, just understanding. Yeah, how you are feeling can change your perception of everything around you. And it's just dangerous, isn't it? Because then that's one action can determine the way so much people look at you or it can be that yeah. detrimental. But that's so why some, that's why there's like, you know, that's why sometimes there's so much use, so much violence among some of the youths. Because how they're feeling and how some of them are being made to feel is almost distorting their perception of what is actually going on outside. Yeah. So with that now is that one, one youth could go out and it's just, you know what I mean, love. And it's not really, it's just nothing. Another youth's going out paranoid, feeling all kinds of way. And then you go and see something and you interpret it a completely different way to what it actually is. Mm. then it becomes violence. It's like, mm. there's so many different I examples of that, isn't it? But yeah, your feelings do definitely play a big role in how you in how you perceive things, but also sometimes the outcomes of certain reactions and stuff too. Mm. You know what I mean? 100%. And the and environments was, I think the environments definitely, my mum's spoke conversation about environments off the back of that voice note was sick as well. Because my mum was just like, 
you're expecting too much for some environments where mm. your expectations in another environment will meet what you want. <clears throat> and you got to ask yourself why your perception has changed and why you want to put yourself in that environment and have them expectations when it's never been that. Like what's so appealing in that environment? And I realised that they're not Kanye West song, Flashing Lights. Yeah. I was distracted for a period of time for whatever reason. And then when I put the expectations and back in a place that you can manage and where it's reciprocated, it makes you even appreciate the other space a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't appreciate it because of your expectation of it, which was completely wrong and incorrect at the time. For whatever reason, do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my mum, that, that was a, that that was a mad like day, a but that was on a Sunday. Though. That was a Sunday. Yeah, man, them day. conversations are nice to have oh. on a Sunday as well. And I had, and it was a chain because I had to go through voice notes because I was like, Mum, I can't do this over the phone right now. Let's just do voice notes. Can <laughs> we take it in? Yeah, yeah, Think yeah, about yeah. what I'm going to say in the response. Yeah. So, yeah, well, shout out to Mumsy, man. Thank you, Mummy. I'm a yeah, difficult man. child at the time, but big yeah, up. yeah, man. Four big seasons, up mumsy, man. man. Look forward to meeting her one day still. Just come around, fly back to my house, man. Yeah, yeah. And when I make her just come around and just come to my house and just. Does she live locally to where you are right now? 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Neat. So 100% you have to meet. Yeah, yeah you yeah, definitely yeah. have to meet her. Yeah, man. Definitely. I got a picture of you and my mum, yeah? I right, listen, that picture will stay with me, you know? It's a good day, That picture man. will stay with me. Like, that was a real organic love moment, brother. I couldn't like, believe I loved it, bro. it. I loved it. That was on my birthday, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. 100% last year. Yeah, man. And you know Crazy. what's so beautiful about that day, yeah? That's why, again, it's mad what love can do, you know? Because I feel like we're plants. Gone. So when the weather's bad, sometimes we just feel a little bit low. Yeah, of course. And on that day, if the you weather. remember it, the weather was crazy. And it was an outdoor party. It was outdoor. <laughs> In fact, everything said that shouldn't be what it ended up being. Exactly. Being, but the love just said, sorry, nah. Yeah. We're dead there today. And I just remember the part where everyone's just gathered round and then your mum's in the middle there and I'm just looking like, I mean, Sushi, like, this is crazy. Yeah. This is actually, like, very rarely do you see people in the rain, black people, because we've got to think about yeah, our yeah, hair, yeah, hundreds. The, the way we're stepping, how we're getting home. Yeah. There's bad things on our mind. No one cared. No. For that whole, how many hours it was, honestly, nobody cared about the Do you know what the rain no did? One. Do you know what the rain did? The rain stopped the hype from coming and just had the love there. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because if the sun was out and it was beaming, it would have been completely ram, yeah. but it would have been a hype thing. Still nice, whatever, but it would have been a hype thing. The hype wasn't there. Mm. So it was. I was just left with the love. That's what made it sick. Do you get what I'm saying? Have you done that? Huh? God. Yes. God did. Yeah. <laughs> God, God did. did. Yeah, God, God did. said, you know what? See, today it's not going to be that. It's not yeah. going to be that. Today That's it's going right, to be a love thing. Huh? Let's give him a proper... Especially where, because you know what's so mad, yeah? This is what we were talking about the other day, me and Amanda. We were like, remember Chucky's birthday? We are like, yeah. Do you remember where he was positioned and everything? Yeah, they're like, look at it now. I'm like, I know. You know what the next birthday is going to be like. We're like, yeah. It's almost Crazy. like, God said, just have your last birthday like that. Yeah, we'd love. Because moving forward, Doug, <laughs> RMB Slow Jams, one extra. It's, it's too crazy. much to just have your birthday like that ever it's again. Crazy. Really. It's crazy. Um, enough music dropped, bro. But you know what? I'll be honest with you. All I've listened to since the music's dropped out is um, dropped is yours and Gets, but I haven't actually finished Gets project yet, so I can't really, I can't really um, deep dive in it too much, yeah. But I will say, because one thing, like, and I, like, I'm gonna constantly say this just so that the message is clear, yeah. I have a default rap style, and I love it when it's met. I just love it when it's met. When I heard um, Mount Rushmore, have you heard that? Oh my God. Oh, do you know <laughs> what, yeah? I, 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 actually, do you know what's funny? Just before you, you even yo. say anything, yeah, I tweeted this, yeah, but bare people thought I was just talking, gen I was generally speaking about, because I'll put uh, Mount Rushmore and I'll put Getz, Kane and Wretch. And then people are saying, no, but Potter's got to be in there. No, but what, they all, what, who? And it, <laughs> bruv, this is bare stuff going on. I'm like, I'm talking about a song with three very talented MCs who are rapping their asses off and saying stuff. And saying stuff. Brother! Oh my God. Can I just say bro. right now, today, obviously this is not like football. This is not like sport, in a sense. Because my opinion can change from, you know, day to day mm. and there's no rules. And I'm telling you that from now. Right now, Rich won. But that's today. And yeah, I... I I've listened to that song a few times. Yeah. 
I'll have the bars that I think are the craziest by next week as well. Right. But the way I feel today, yeah, because Gets went cra- G- Gets came kicking out the. He came cra- and we were speaking about the cadence that K- Gets and Kane have, which is almost like they're twins, and I I don't get it how Kane can come in on a half bar on Gets. And yeah. I'm only clocking maybe on the. I don't know, two seconds later or three seconds. I'm not clocking straight away. It's so smooth. You know, like when a guy can drive and he changes gear and you're not even clocking. Mm. The next man changes gear and it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When them <laughs> man change gear, to, it's just... It's different. It's too smooth, bro. I'm just like, this is dangerous. Wretch is... He, he for me, when it comes to that, is like, he's number one for me, bro. He's so good at it, bro. I've been saying, Scary, I've been saying on this pod... I can't remember the last time I said it, but I was like, yo, I don't know if anyone's paying attention to like the, the, the um, his feature verses. He's been given the coldest feature verses. After bro. the Nines project. You said yeah, it. Oh, yeah, probably after the, the Nines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, highly blessed. You he's, just start, he's, been, he's just been delivering them, just quietly, just been delivering these verses, bro, where he's just saying stuff, rapping his ass off, and it is mad smooth. It's just mad smooth. And it's like, you know... With Rex, yeah, it's like th- immediately as soon as he's as soon as you hear his voice, it's the first line. What well, what does he say? Sky, why are you taking long to reply to my messages? But it's like this is a, the daughter thing. Do you get what I'm saying? And he's like, that's this that's the theme of the verse, I guess, isn't it? It's like it's just you wouldn't understand unless you have a daughter. But it's like this. Now that you're getting older, I'm sending you messages and whatnot. You're taking longer to respond to me, and that is making me feel away. Listen, the way that he's delivered that, and that's coming off the back of um, Kane revealing having a child and talking about being a dad and whatnot and his nan passing away or whatever else, coming from the MOBO, the, uh, do, doing a MOBO speech and then leaving there and going to check his nan and daughter and this, that, and then Rex comes in and then starts talking immediately. Well, as we hear about, you're talking about your child. <laughs> yeah, this is how this I'll be- happening to- <laughs> Yeah. Um, gets his on a vibe of yeah mum I know it sounded weird when I was saying X, Y and Z about it sounding like I was only eating one meal a day when maybe it was actually four dad I know it sounds mad like I know you probably thought it was a bit weird when I was saying that you was never around when like you know man is man innit like I love you still do you know what I mean and I know what the like, love looks like it's like bruv these lot are saying this in the coolest way Together, when you look at these names, you instantly, I would have instantly have thought, you know what, maybe it might be a grime thing and they're just going to go spaz out. I just thought that this was the perfect thing that those three could have done, bro. Honestly. But I'm going to I'm gonna keep listening to it, though, because I want to be able to talk more about the project properly. I maybe do want to say him. that Shaka song is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. I ain't heard it yet, bro. It's one of the, I, I know I just got, maybe I'm, I, honestly. Oh, yeah, and I love Shaka Fram as well, bro. Shaka. There's delivering, and then there's the go- there's a hat trick in the in the chat. Serious. In the final. Like this is, am I like this is Mbappe levels for a hook? Have you heard it? Well, I've heard some of it. It's my. I'm telling. It's. Oh, I can't wait, bro. I know wanna come see me when you know wanna come see me and it's your. It sounds like some party next door shit. I I on it. This sounds like party's first album. That is honestly, it's crazy. It's crazy, 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 bro. I've got tears in my eyes. This shit crazy, bro. Shaka is the truth as well, by the way. This, and, can I just say- And a gentleman, consistently. Yes, 100%. Brother, the man came to, bro, sh- anyway. The man come to my New Year's Eve dance, bought a ticket and just came to my dance. I know Shaka, bro. There's no way. There's just no way, bro. <laughs> like, brother, if you come in, just message me. Yeah, I've got you. Nah, you know what? You're doing New Year's Eve. I wanted to come and support and I just wanted to just be there with my friends and just do that kind of thing. And I'm like, I loved it. But I'm like, nah, you know, like sometimes when somebody is like, when when you check for somebody so much, you want to. Yeah, 100%. You want to. And I, and I say this to Shaka all the time too, yeah? Because I don't think he, I don't think I've actually explained it to him properly. And maybe now is the time that I can. But... Sometimes when I see Shaka, I say to him, bro, like, you helped me in a way that you ne- you'll never know. Mm. You'll never know. Because this time that I always refer to about me being in a serious mud, in a serious mud, 
One of the things that kept me warm was Shaka's music, bro. You all I remember. I there was one I'll tell you this, yeah. One day I had to go. I had to go and pay um rent and I was paying it in cash, yeah. Bro, I was struggling to get this money together, bro. Struggling. And I was always late. I'll be honest with you. I was always late. Always the day this is say for example, the date I have to pay is on the first of the month, yeah. I'm paying this on the twelfth. It's that. And then you know what? I'm paying it on the 12th and then now it feels like the first is around the corner again. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? So close. Brother, but the embarrassment of me being so late all of the time and sometimes even past 12 days, yeah. the embarrassment was made me walk from where I was staying to the person's house to pay the rent um, late in the night. I didn't want to face them in the day, I didn't want to go there and say, oh, like, sorry, I'm late. And do you get what I'm saying? So I'd go there at like three in the morning. I'd walk from, it would take me um, like just under an hour to walk there and walk back. So I'd go at like, leave at like two in the morning, two, three in the morning, go there, pay the thing. And then I walk back, bro, I'm listening to Shaka. I'm listening to Shaka. Um, uh, strong, uh, was it Strength of an Ox? That was a song that I kept listening to. Bro, you needed you needed that for the walk. Bro, I needed it, bro. <laughs> I needed it. I needed it. And it's like those are the songs, yeah. When I go back to that, when I listen to them songs now, yeah, mm. the emotional connection to that is so deep, yeah, that it makes me feel weird when I hear it. It's like cuz I remember exactly how I felt when I was there. Yeah, man. But then I also it's like Oh, it feels nice, but then it feels weird. It feels yeah. like it's just one of them weird, weird ones. But it helped, bro. It's like music therapy. So when I see, and then later on, I ended up DJing for Shaka a few times. I used to say to him, bro, like, you don't even know, bro. Like, what, bro, I'm, this is how deep it was. This is going to sound mad, yeah? When he did his show, what, the show was in Coco. I was standing on the balcony, yeah? And then I can't even remember what the song was, yeah? But I started finding myself feeling a little emotional. Because this time was fucking crazy for me, bro. And all I was really crazy. listening to, obviously I was listening to Bear Stuff, Bear Other Stuff and whatever, but when I needed it, Shaka's music was helping, man, bro. Like, it's mad. So when I see Shaka, I always say to him, bro, you don't even know. You don't even know. You know the artists that, it's so funny that the artists that I feel that I'm most about are the ones that I feel I wish would just, wish they'd done it at a high intensity or... Mm done it sicker or done something more so they could be appreciated at a higher level. Like I remember, because when you say that, it makes me think about, all right, cool. I remember the whole time when, even when I was doing Vibra and I went to rap a particular way and I was like, you know, you start looking left and right. You're like, but look, where is it happening? Like, where is it, where are people rapping in a way where it's like not meeting the commercial standards or even like the underground standards, like, which is the biggest. And I was thinking to myself, because I love Skepta, but I'm like, I can't do nothing that Skepta does. I appreciate that, but Skepta's, he's Skepta. Hmm. And I remember listening to Jesse James. And I remember listening to a song that he, he released like a four track EP and it was like a track called Lionel Jesse. And just the fact that he don't want to fit what's going on, just find these obscure gaps in between the beats and subject matters which are so personal to him that they're almost unrelatable. Hmm. I was like, this is crazy. And I'd have it on repeat. On repeat, I would have Jesse James on. I just thought this guy was stupid and it's mm. like when I hear Jesse James today and some of the songs I always think about that time where I was like how am I going to start rapping who's going to care and I was like this you just don't care he right. doesn't give a damn about if anybody is going to fuck with his music like right. this is what he's dropping that inspired me I won't lie to that proper inspired me same way today when I listen to Merckston I'm like hey Merckston's mad with it he doesn't he just drops winter jacket it just is what it is man like <laughs> yeah, or, or 38 special and it's like yeah, yeah. how long I've been cold like years like Kylie Minogue right, like, it's just, it don't matter like this yeah. is what I'm bro them guys inspire me so much bro like so much it's crazy you don't know who you sometimes when you're doing this year, you don't even realise how deep you are inspiring somebody you know what I mean bro that's true yeah you would you mean really like, go into that that's true no because it's like you're you're making music and stuff like that. And sometimes you might be making it for yourself. You might be making it for people or whatnot. But sometimes I don't know, like artists are not always aware of how deep the music actually cuts, regardless of the style, regardless of what you're saying. Like, you know, people are going through so many different things in their life. Positive as well. No, I'm with you, bro. Positive as well. I'm with you as well. But it's like that level of inspiration and how the, how the music cuts, yeah, cuts deep sometimes. 
is so much deeper than you could even ever imagine at times. I think some people can imagine this. Like if you went to an Oma Lay concert, you might imagine how oh, the yeah. music cuts deep. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she loved me when I'm drunk. Not necessarily, because you might have been drunk at the front of the row and she didn't love you we're enough. Gonna, we're going to get into that. But we're yeah, man, but it's true. Music is, because there are loads of artists like, like that. Shaka, because even when I see Shaka, May, and maybe I take it wrong, but sometimes I'm like, there should be an extra strut in your step. Like, you're Shaka in my eyes. Yeah. And I feel that about Jesse James. I feel that about Benjamin Shaka, AD Shaka's so been much. Shaka's way too quiet for he, me. At brother. This, at this point, to be honest. If, go home and listen to that Get song, yeah, with Shaka, and tell me that ain't one of the best things you've heard this year. Like, with... with with each, uh, the best things you've heard within this year and last year. Okay. Like he's, Shaka, he's got next level. The power's mad. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I don't know where he's writing from. I don't understand. There's another power in there. Yeah. And I'm like, man, just like, just selfishly, I'm like, man, I wish I had that more often. Like yeah. it's, he's mad, bro. He might think that too though. Oh, he knows he's he, powerful. He, no, but he might think, oh damn, I wish I had that more often. No, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I hope Maybe so. Maybe that's why sometimes it takes so long. Man, do you know what? If you're that great, however long it's going to take, man, do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even be out here forcing it to happen all the time. Take your as long yeah, as No, but you, you know what? Go. We're just fans. Yeah, exactly. You so, get what I'm so, saying? We're just fans and we don't know. And like, that's why, you know, I like having conversations with artists because I like insight. I like to get a little insight into... The creative process so 100%. you can understand the... Okay, I so hear I can you. understand how they move and whatnot. You get what I'm saying? Like A2. I always want to understand A2. Brother. See this song he's got with um, M. Huncho, yeah? You yeah. see his his delivery on that M. Huncho tune, yeah? I'm going to go find it now. It's A1. And this time it's A2. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at um, one point... Wait, A2. And what Jordy was, was on the A13. Oh my God, wait till you see Jordy's new video. Oh my God. Go get it. Jordy's new video. Everybody, Man. trust me, you're not ready for what Jordy's doing. I'm not even ready for what Jordy's doing. Jordy's not even ready for what, for what Jordy's doing. <coughs> Ridiculous, that boy. Ridiculous. There's some. Yeah, man. Uh, England's got some. Yeah, the vibes. song you're talking about is called Go Get Her with M. Huncher. Brother, Go Get It is And it's taken crazy. from um, Are You As Bored As I Am, which I was battering at one point. I think the song I need to take it in properly again, you know. It's because I was making was this damn project. I couldn't take things in properly. Yeah, yeah, I could imagine still. So I need to go and take that in properly. Oh, yeah. Uh, one on Need is what I was listening to a lot. Well, 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 well. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he's so <laughs> He's cold, a bad boy. So, yeah, man. I don't know. England's got some vibes. People always say there's not... Whatever. I, I think... Wait, is this the video? Definitely Is not. it already out? No. Um, oh. Oh, it's not out. It's not out. Wonder Kid. No. Oh, it's about Wonder Kid. It's not out yet. Okay. You need to, I bet you're wondering who the feature is. It is crazy. Okay. Come on. And this time it is happening on the 1st of March. Like, everyone, it is happening 1st of March. I guarantee you. Been shot. No one might have Done the answer for this, and this might be an um, uninformed thing to say, yeah. But, and just let me know if I'm going mad, but why doesn't anyone ever talk about um, Lancey Foe? He went mad on Gets his project. To be honest with you, yeah, that sort of Lancey Foe, Playboy Carty style is not really Same. my thing. So they might actually be speaking about it because clearly he's had a trajectory. Cause yeah, because he's been doing a madness recently. Brother, he's doing his thing. Do you know where I'm coming from? He had a song with Sexy Red. Mitch was playing it every day. That's how I knew. So I think he is spoken about, but just because the music's not really man's core demograph, I wouldn't really know. But yeah, he's doing his thing. Go Brother, when it. I first saw this done, I didn't, I thought he, do you know what? Yeah, I thought he, yeah, he's wham. Brother, he, yeah, brother, he's one. He was like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, he's, he's not. He's like gets now. Is he your? Is he the I same? Need to is he the same height as you? Find out what's going on. Huh? Is he the same height as you? Probably, maybe he's taller. And his hair grows. Yeah. And his hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy over yeah, there. He's one, but I thought that he was like. I didn't even know that he was from London, bro. Yeah. I thought he was from. Obviously, I discovered this some years ago, but I'm talking about for a while when I first started seeing his name or I first started seeing him. I thought he was like 
a, like a French, you know, like, I don't know, it's weird. He just looks like a French Don that just like is cool. Yeah, super cool. Like, I'm not sure which, um, which African country he comes from or whatnot, but I just thought it was that. I just didn't, I wasn't really paying too much attention to it, but I just kept seeing his name though, occasionally. And then I'm looking at the shows that he's doing and I'm like, right, hold on a minute, yeah. This Don is really, really, really outside. There's, you know, like I said to you about Jesse James? Yeah. Just doing it, I wish he carried on doing it. That's how I feel about Lancey Fall. He just done his own thing. Whether you're on this train or not, it still moves. Right then. And I rate that. Yes. I rate it That's so it. highly, bro. 100%. I want to speak to him still. Yeah, brother. It'd be interesting to see his journey because... He's always been cool. It's not like he's not cool overnight. I tell you that no, he's no, always no. been cool. So um, he does a modelling thing in that as well. Sometimes, yeah, because right? he used to go out with um, Starino's sister, wasn't it? Oh, um, Rachel and uh, uh, not Rachel, uh, some Rachel Anderson or something. Simon Anderson. Yes. Yeah, so no, oh. I know you're talking about. That. Yeah, my, my listen, she everyone. Well. I've had a very very long morning. Do ignore me. I'm sorry. It's, She's amazing, by the way. Yeah, amazing. I, I recorded a Jay-Z amazing, podcast amazing, amazing, a couple years ago. My mind's just mash up right now, man. What, am I saying it wrong? Listen, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a rasta man, so you know what type of morning I had. So oh, that's the reason why I'm ones. just... I'm sorry. But sorry, Kian, by soldiers, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Chucky, why no. did you make him say that? I can't find... God knows. Why did you make him say a lot of things? Well, no. Yeah, even that. <laughs> <laughs> even that. See it there? You see it there? Because you know what? We've told you many times. You haven't listened and now. See it there? See it there? Yeah. Come on, man. You do it when it's not that. Huh? You do that. Like, you haven't said anything. <laughs> see it there? <laughs> exactly. You probably said it in your head somewhere. And it's one of my things. I ain't paid for parking. I forgot, man. Do you know what I'm saying over there? Sorry to go left. Go on. It, cause it really hit now. me. My brethren come in the WhatsApp group today. Why? Massive why. <laughs> he, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Double but entendre. Why? Double entendre. Don't Come ask on. me how. You know what I mean? Why? Um, <laughs> and he said, lads, 10 years of the WhatsApp group. I said, Chargy. What? He said, it's been 10 years since we started the WhatsApp group. I say, Ten yo. Years. So I started thinking to myself, what other WhatsApp groups have I been in for a little while? I looked at my filthy fellow, the original filthy fellow, 13 years. But the original, is that still going now? It's still going. Serious? Obviously, I said, yo, man have become, that. Like, the WhatsApp group's older than certain man's yeah, picnic. I'm telling you. There's been relationships that we've gone through. There's been arguments. Man have been kicked out the group. New man have been brought in the group. But I said to everybody, even if I'm not speaking to you, man, every day, after 12, 13 years, we're still dead there. Eh? You're right. I said, it's not meant to be what it was three, four years ago. It's going to evolve. It's going to change. We're going to have times where we interact a lot and we don't. But I think the biggest testament we can say is we're still here, man. Still the KYs dead. and the Chris Bells and Runs and Specs is in that group and Mitch and Kel and Scribs and yeah. Bolt. Like the original, it's amazing. Hey, what bro. are some of the reasons for why a man has been kicked out of the group? Ours ones are super personal. So, like, it's just like, okay. for example, I think one common courtesy is like the WhatsApp group that you have is is a safe zone. It should be a safe zone. I imagine in some WhatsApp groups, people are saying fuckery about loads of people. Mm. And they, well, however, it's dealt with. Someone might come in and go, "Yo." Don't do that about my man or so on and so forth. But it shouldn't leave the WhatsApp group. Even if right. you're defending 100. my man. Or if we've had that conversation there because we thought it was a safe space, at any point it goes to anywhere else, there should be a discussion amongst the people to say, I don't feel comfortable about this. Or do you know what I'm coming from? Like I've left the WhatsApp group before. I can say why well, I've left the WhatsApp group. They were speaking about someone that's very close to me in a sexual manner. And they were sexualizing her. And, and and I understand people do, but I said, for respect for me, we have to stop this because this is yeah. my sister. We right. can't handle this. Right. And then on some, yeah, but you have to, un what? Yeah. I have for, uh, I have for go. Yeah. So I left. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? You're right. That's 
the space that you look Nagan, Renault. Right. So that's the reasons why I leave group us. I think it's yeah, man. If you take information out, and I've never told that I person, that. I and I would never that. tell that person at all, and I'll never say anything. Yeah. But I just felt like let me leave because I'm just gonna spoil the party. I don't want that said about my bridging, and I'm just sitting there like everything's Chris, and mm. it's not Chris. Yeah. yeah not yeah. for me anyway. We, so yeah, what's reasons that it's happened for you? Because I know we, it must we had um, there was a WhatsApp group that we had. Yeah, it was a football WhatsApp group with like friends that I'd known for a oh, long time no. or whatever. Yeah. But then, like, he it started football, getting out of yeah. hand. It started getting out of hand, oh. yeah. So then we started making rules. So there was obviously, like, um, a ref who was, like, the admin, the because you could only have one admin at the time, yeah, mm. on WhatsApp. And then, they, obviously, you could get a yellow card or a red card, yeah? And if you got a, re- if you got, if you got a red card, then you got uh, a few-day ban. If you got another red card or if you accumulated them, then you're out of the group for a minute, yeah? So at first it was fun, but then <laughs> it started to get like man started to get vex, and then started to set like start up separate groups. It started to just get mad weird. But like some of the reasons for for someone being kicked out of the group is exactly what you just said. Yeah. If we're having a conversation about something and it turns out that you have screenshotted something and put it in a different group or whatever, that's red card out. Because if you could, if you do that and then you tell everyone in the group you do it, you know what? We're still gonna probably kick you out. But I think I could still talk to you afterwards yeah, yeah, because yeah, I've acquired course. that information from you. Yeah. It's when I have to f- find Tom, Dick and Harry, Harry and they're telling yeah. me something about... So I'm thinking, yo, what do you mean what? Because now I have to... Especially when they screenshot one part of it. Yeah. There's conversation above and below, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wait. Above and below, yeah. Above and below no, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're good. <laughs> what, we're not going to do that as well? Right. So now I have to do that to justify Saturn? Yeah. Don't put me in that position, no homo. No, nah, there was all, all of that. All of that. Um... What was the next thing? Oh yeah, the, the, there was um, a situation where like, <laughs> the, this was supposed to be a football group. These men were dissing each other all day. Oh. All four o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, these, there's two men in a group at least, just talking. I'm still in yeah. groups like that now. Is it, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> man. Just, Shout out my brother just Z. just talking, I love Z, man. But yeah, now nah, there was what, a situation where a man like, you know, was dissing a man's gal and, yeah, it got, yeah, it got what? It got pretty, It got a little personal still. Then next man dissing the next man's ball head, and there was all kinds of stuff going you know on what? in this group. I can't act like that. That's happened in my group. Man yeah. Started... yeah, the ball head thing was all right still, but you know what it was, yeah. It, what I'm saying, yeah, the ball head thing was fine. The missus thing was techie, but it was like what had happened was the niggling was not coming no, from a it wasn't coming it was, yeah it wasn't it wasn't coming from a um <laughs> it wasn't coming from a ban, it wasn't coming from a banterous place after a while yeah so it's like you know what you can diss a man about let's say you could diss a man about his ball head on a normal jokey thing but if it's not really jokey then now it's it. not it's different now do you get what i'm saying because it's now this feels a little bit more venomous because it feels like there's some feelings in there that was our problem. Do you know what our problem was? Our group started off called Dirty Fellas. Okay. Because I used to have this, because obviously slag is massive in Tottenham. So people will say certain things in a particular way. So shout out Smiler. Me and Smiler, if something would happen, I'd be like, ooh, dirty. Smiler would be like, that's dirty. I'm like, ooh, dirty. That's dirty. I wouldn't have that. That's dirty. So we used to do that all the time. So then all of a sudden, we made the Dirty Fellas. That man would just cuss man all day about everything. So... You couldn't even see if there was extra venom or anything because everything was a poisonous snake. All of them venom. Then it upgraded to filthy because of things that you are saying. People used to really speak their mind. Is that your girl? <laughs> Ross. <laughs> That's what, That's what you mean, is that my girl? As long as you're happy. Next week, no. <laughs> <laughs> when a man no. hits you with as long as you're, you're happy. happy. But I, oh, that is bonkers. Man, with anything you've done, your trainers. Listen, I've seen man carnival outfits from 2014 still in WhatsApp groups today man would just go you can't chat to me for a group picture like yeah yeah that's how that happens in these groups so so, yeah man do you know what as well yeah Benny Benny. you see Benny yeah Mm. in WhatsApp groups bro he is dangerous bruv because he's good at like what he's good one he's really quick and two he's good at making artwork so say like he just takes a picture of your face that you didn't even realise he's taken a picture of and then he plants it on something. And he's like, he always does it and puts it in 
in a moment where you're in your most vulnerable stage. Oh, no. It's just annoying, bruv. But he's so good at it. His artwork's good. Do you know... Um, then you couldn't survive. It's, see, things are like that are bad. Sorry to cut you. Yeah. You know the filthy fella like, from the show? Yeah. What's that group? The way people kill each other in that group, you would think they're genuinely not friends. Friends, yeah. yeah. When I cried on this pod, I got killed I by imagine. Specs for... <laughs> Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> to yeah, this yeah. day. Oh, to, to, yeah, to, to, to this, this day. He doesn't... See Specs, don't come to sympathy. He's, he's, forget it. Yeah. Forget it. And when that becomes a tone, then Liffy gets involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the jo- yeah. brother, you're just getting- It's the whole it, thing. But it makes you a man though. Yeah, the yeah. Thick skin. Yeah, of course. I hear it still. There's I have one actual group that still lasted um, that I barely talk in. Pause for thick skin. Huh? Pause for thick skin. Yeah, pause right. for that. Um, Crazy. <laughs> but- <laughs> But yeah, these men in the group hate me because I never talk in it, yeah? Oh, you're I never that talk, guy. But you look. Now, nah, but what happens to that? This is what I do, yeah? See, in my pre. That's, that's Chuck, I hate no, you. I don't even do that. No, I don't even look. <laughs> oh, fair enough. So I don't even look. So basically, yeah, at first I used to be in the group all the time, what not now. But then, like, I'm just not so much in the group anymore. United's shit anyway. Like, and obviously, United just holds bare cord in this group. So anyway, now. <laughs> So, but there's quite a few Arsenal men in there and there's a few Tottenham men in there, yeah? I hate Arsenal. So right. anyway, so these will be in there or whatnot. And then, so I might not talk in this group, yeah? Literally, for like four months. I might not even, I might not even look. But you see if Arsenal lose or Tottenham lose, I just go in there now, but I don't speak. I just go in there and I just say, well, you know. And they hate it. They hate you know, when, all of a sudden, man. I start seeing, I start seeing my name getting tagged. But where was you when? But where was you? I'm like, you know, it's funny, yeah. It's like when you do that to me, I'm at a stage where I don't care now. I've just accepted we shit, and that's just where it is, yeah. So when I go in there, and I just say, well, you know, I start go sometime, you know. No matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, perfect, you'll lose your head though yeah. you'll lose your head and, that, and the thing is this is what I do you know what I hate about people like Chucky yeah because they're just super cool with it yeah, yeah, yeah. super cool because you're going to say all the other stuff to get something out he's like oh, it's just like God, sometimes but, here, but here's, how, here's how brazen my one is United could have all lost the same weekend oh that's gangster but I still go in there and say well it's you know they hear it in your voice when they read <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know you don't care and it's annoying that voices. It's that respects. See Specs and Tigo when they drop this whole they don't support someone or nothing. Oh, they, the they way they wind do. man up. The first, they know it and they know where people are gonna go. Yeah. You don't even support a team. Okay. Now what are you gonna say? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. A man's on the same pit. Oh, legends. They're man are legends. Shout out to filthy fellas forever, man. Omar Lay. Hey, brother. I'm sure we've talked about something like this before. I'm sure we have still. All I'm saying is in Jamaica it don't happen like that. Shout out Adidas for sending Where was the actual concert? Was it in Hammersmith or Pot? I, I thought so. I could tell it was that. West London? Yeah, West Can't London. Can't happen in North London. <laughs> Gunshots are flying. So basically, yeah, you could pull it on the screen if you can find it. So he... Um, Don't say it like that. He picked out a girl to come on the stage and the girl who was with a guy, we don't know the, the, the context, could have been her man, Could she could have been on a date. Either way, she was with a guy. Yeah, she went up on stage and there was all kinds of stuff going on while my man was standing there watching this thing. Thoughts? I would have been like, go sis, that's my sis. I don't give a shit. Can't ever think this is my gal. Oh, no, I'm walking out. Can I tell you something? I should make love in this club. Let me tell you something. First things first anyway. He's not recording, is he? He was, that's him. He's recording. Oh yeah, there he is. At first he was. Now, do you know what it is, yeah? The camera goes down. This yeah, because saying, after a while, it's, it's like, end. You know, I think the recording is a um, defense mechanism. I think it's a, this is mad. Maybe people are looking at me a little bit. Let me just look like I'm like supporting this. Look, yeah, this shook his head like, oh, yeah, this is, a, this is too much. Yeah. <laughs> he shook his head and said, yeah, this is too much. You know what? I can't take the piss out of him. No, 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 of course not. Hear what I'm saying. I can yeah. really take the piss out. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I can't, I can't, I can't. Look at this. This is a, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. 
Let me tell you something. This oh, is how my thing's set up. Anyway, firstly, like it's like I have to put myself in the mind frame of them. Sorry, because... can you just pause you? Have you seen the video after the dance as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah when he's walking. Like... The... When he's walking on his ones. Him, but I'm trying to put myself in the mind frame of them both. Well, no, him. Because first things first, I'm not at the front like that anyway. That's what a lot of my friends have said. That's just my, I'm just not at the front. I'm not at the concert. I'm not the one. I'm just not holding the bar at the front. It's not, it's just not it's my, not my style. story. Yeah. But let me tell you this. If for whatever reason, one day that so happens to be the case, you see when the artist or the artist is to point his finger at the lady that I'm with and she puts her right arm and her left leg on that bar. By the time she's actually climbed over, gone. Gone again. I'm out of there. I've not even seen this part here. I've not even seen this bit. I might see it on the internet afterwards or whatever by default because everyone's talking about it or whatnot. But see that? There's just no way, bro. There the is, thing is no way. The memes exist in longevity because he gave them bare time to make bare content. He I did. agree with Chucky. What you should have done, son, is once you saw that, jump on your phone, order a cab, get in there, ask him to connect his Bluetooth to your phone and play Viva Four Seasons. Strong. It would have been an easy ride home. Strong. This video here alone where she's deliberating with her friends whether she thinks it's bad or not. Like, if you have to ask your two brethren's opinion... Whilst the person, huh? I think they said she was wrong. Did they? I didn't even have I didn't, to, I didn't, I didn't even want to see what they said. I just looked at my man. I'm sorry that I even said I can make a joke out of it. Did you see how, you, have you seen further stuff she said, right? No, no. You haven't seen Kai Sinet reaching out to her? Have to turn that down, Have you seen Kai Sinet reaching out to her? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you see what she said to Kai Sinet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compensation. Compensation. You should give me compensation for my time if you want to connect with me. Who said You're this? gonna. So Kai Sinet has reached out to the girl so the girl can get her side of the story. This has gone global. This is a mad thing. So the girl. So Kai Sinet, the streamer himself, has reached out to the girls, going on stage, embarrassing her man. So she has the opportunity to give her side of the story, and she's asking for financial compensation. Well, you know that says a lot, don't it? That says a lot, man. Well, I clear your Listen. name, girl, or maybe. You don't want it cleared. He would have, uh, Omar. He would have chopped that to pieces probably if he, if he actually, um, if that's what he was looking for. He could have completely lost that girl that day. What? He completely. could have completely lost that. He, he has have... completely lost that girl. No, but I mean, like in that moment, like it could have been a thing. You see, it could have been a thing where she didn't even come back after that. She didn't. She was only there physically. In a spirit, Chucky. Honestly, yeah, you see nah, how man. flustered she was afterwards talking to the brother. She is standing outside of that rave, waiting for. I reckon she's DM'd him now. Yes, on the ground. Yes, maybe a little a snap or something. She wants more at the TikTok, and honestly. God protect me from women like that. She definitely keep them has far been. away from She's me. Pretty though. But keep me in these Adidas tracksuits. She's very way. pretty. Shout out, girl. Honestly, yeah, she's yeah. clean. She's clean still. Right. But you know, huh? she went number five. I, big Aww. man, I don't care. But let me tell you, something. I don't care how clean a person is. Are you crazy? I don't care how clean. There's no bro, bro. That's not clean, brother. There it is. You see what she's doing. There is no way. <laughs> There is no way this is uh, uh, this could be uh, like that could be my story like that. I'm not hanging around. I just can't be hanging around afterwards either. Chucky, but no, how, huh? Don't you think that's how demons are getting made? Like, listen, hear me out. I'm not demons. Maybe I'll go too far. But you know, like for example, villains. Because you know, like if you did something bad in private, you can try and just sort it out in private, and then maybe you can go forward and no one knows. I just think when it's something like this and then you're battling with your ego and all of those types of things, if you stand on business with this, which I don't believe you should stand on business with, that means you have to become that character. You might not even be that character, but because you've done something, you've made the decision, like we were speaking about decision making, mm. you've made a mad decision, which now everybody, like I'm introduced to you like this for the first time. It's either you be this character and I accept it and just go, oh, you're just like this, or you try and fight against it. Yeah. I feel like most people just be this character. And then you just have loads of people like this yeah, that no, will support this type of behaviour. 
You know what? For me, yeah, like so. A part of this would be my my ego, definitely. Like raw, like, you're just trying to crush a man's ego, and it would definitely um, make me feel away from that perspective. But also another thing is, yeah, and yeah. I'm quite big on this too. It's like it's that thing of not for one moment thinking raw, like. If I do that, how would that make him feel? Do you get what I'm saying? It's that. That's the thing for me. And when there's no consideration in that aspect, I'm like, nah, man. Because ultimately, I hear it. You know, like, you can be a fan of an artist or whatnot, yeah? And you could actually want to meet that artist. But how deep is it for you to want to meet that person, but also to make that person, the person that you're with, feel shit in the process? It's, it can't be that deep for me. I can't put a woman that I've that I'm out with, whether I've taken her out or whatever it may be. Yeah, like maybe there's a maybe. Um, this is I'm speculating here, but maybe the reason why they're even at the front in the first place is because you know what he's taken her out and she that's something that she wants to do. All right, cool. I'll come to the front with you. Yeah. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's very possible. I'll come to the front with you. He's the only then, guy there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um. And he's quite a tall guy as well. So sometimes more time at a concert, the man are not all right in the flipping thing like that. But anyway, it's like, just Wait, going back to more to the point, it's like- Did he go with a group of girls? Looks like it. Big man, I might change my mind. Why? I'm beginning to feel like this was a silly move from the start. <laughs> and maybe this, although is harsh, it is tough love because this was a silly decision. Go on. To go to a Omalay concert with your girlfriend and her female friends, for me, no. Why? Check it out, Four Seasons, the bar's crazy on Autumn. For me, no, because I just don't understand why I'm going to go to an Omalay, Omalay concert where I know he's going to have a large female group of fans. Yeah. And I imagine the conversations that you lot have together that I don't hear about, probably I wouldn't be happy with some of them. And now I'm going to go out with you <laughs> lot to the Omar Lay concert at the front with all of the gal I'm the only guy in a, what looks like an off-white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Big man, <laughs> you're off your rockers. Yeah, I saying. would never put myself in that position. Like I would never... EA, are you putting yourself in that position? But what position? I went to a concert with my girl. Right. And her friends. Yes. And stood at the front row. Yeah, yeah I'm... Go say so what, because look at him. I'm walking away. Have you done it before? That maybe you want to go there because you want Have you gone to a concert which you know is going to be predominantly females with her, your friend, with your girlfriend and her friends? Have you done it before? Yeah. When? Burner. That's not no. Burner is a rude boy. He's not predominantly. If he's predominantly women, it's Burner's different. I'm talking Omale. I wouldn't. I don't look. I don't know. But what I can say. Would you do that? It's broke. Don't. I'm asking you a simple question. Bro. You're doing politics. Would, would you do that? I would do that. I would, You're I mean, a liar. That to That's all I'm saying. I'm with Chucky, you. Chucky, would you do that? I, yeah. You, you go know, to all my life and sit front row yeah. with, all, with her girlfriend and her yeah. friends. I'll tell you why I you see, would. You see this how the story ends out? Maybe not let me tell you how I would. Let me tell you why you I see, would. Sorry, carry on. I'll tell you why I would. Not me. Because, and also, let, let me take this into consideration. I could get this wrong. You could. But I would like to believe that I'm going with a girl that, I'm al I've already assessed isn't moving like this. Yeah, so, you know what? I might be caught by surprise, the element of surprise, but in this thing, this feels like a safe environment for me. Uh -huh. I'm with her and her brethren, and they're going to move. And you know what? Oh, wait, this is the next thing, yeah? Another thing is that if it's me, her, and her friends, and then my man picks her out, I would have thought at least one of the friends would have tapped her and said, you're moving a bit mad. All right. You're moving a bit mad. So let me ask another let question. Let me go. Let me ask another question. Let's decide. Would you, because you already said you wouldn't, would you go front row in a concert? No. no. Now, can we now say, since we wouldn't go front, because I'm not, do we know the frame imagine, of mind? Can you imagine poet front row at a concert? It stinks. I mean, everyone's way. The <laughs> 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 moment I go like that, I've elbowed everyone. Go on. Go on. All right. Anyway. All right, do you understand the frame of mind of someone that would want to be in the front row? Yeah. What do you reckon the frame of mind of that person is? They're strong fans. And they're what? Oh, go on. Don't try to put the words in my mouth. I think they're attention seeking. I think the people at the front nah. of the row are always looking at the camera and nah, they always nah. like to the nah, person. Nah, They've man. got signs. 
Hundred percent. This is not like Arsenal tickets where you buy a ticket and you're in the front row just by default. Just know, just know. This is someone that's decided to go to the concert early and wait at the front whilst no one's hardly in there, and they're the, they're there forever. Po, just you can't know, buy when the you do your show. You're talking about the people that are at the front row of yours. No, because my music's different. This is not Omar Lay. You can have a different type of crowd. There. It's not like a grime crowd. If I'm in the front row of a grime crowd, you can. This is Omar Lay. Four Seasons isn't grime. Of course not, but it's a, a melodic sound where everyone can chill. No one's even gonna be at the front row like that. We don't make music like that, we're chill. But this is dangerous. Remember when you done your concert in, um, Notting Hill, in Port Bello? That was crazy. You done a little concert, right? You done that in- Yeah, 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 yeah. really nice yeah, mellow type vibes. It was quite intimate. I remember because I was, I was taking pictures or filming or whatever, and I was at the front, yeah? And I remember thinking, this is such an experience, being like having nobody in front of me, all I can see is the artist. From my perspective, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I've I think always, it's amazing. I've, I've always been in the thing where there's like mm. that six foot five guy there, the, the three girls laughing and talking over here. That and that's not really the exp- like you, you're able to get what you want to get, but it's not really a great experience. Was you with your girl? Within the crowd. Huh? Was you with your girl? When? That that show. No, I wasn't. Was there a metal railing in front of you? No, there the metal railing leads me to suggest people <laughs> might be at a bit of a oh my god, Never. oh my god. I just don't think you should go to the front of that with your girl. I just wouldn't even do it for safety, for, even safety reasons. No. I wouldn't want to do it. So if my girl wanted to do it with me, I just want to know why are we doing this again? All right, no, but all right, let me add another dimension to this. Yeah, I'm with you in a sense. I'm not going to the front. With I'm my girl and her friends, that's but, it. But also, I'm definitely with you on the experience element because obviously for a lot of people, we, we have to take ourselves out of this a little bit too because yeah. of we have a privilege in being able to go to loads of shows, being around artists and being in and amongst some of that. So our, our thing is a bit different. My bad. For them, my bad. it's different my bad. for them. My bad. Yeah? So, and then secondly, yeah, there's the um, that emotional connection that we always refer to in regards to music too. So it's like, let's just say, which maybe probably wasn't the case in this situation here, but I'm just adding it in anyway, is that you meet somebody and this one particular artist is the current theme of your relationship, or this one particular album is the current theme of that. So it's like, you are now going and experiencing it together in a, in a, a level of closeness which is supposed to feel it's supposed to feel nice I hate ain't you. nobody supposed to be going on no stage though can't we bring some more guys <laughs> They're all no. if it was three guys three girls or even three guys and four girls I think I'm more with it I hear but, but I it's, not, it's not going to change the outcome though because if they go might. to the front it might if, it, if they go to it the front might. well you reckon it might let me tell you something I've got a problem with that go on I'll tell you why I've got a problem with that if I bring some of my guys and that's the reason why when we're at the front, you're not going on the stage because I might be with some of my guys. Um, that's there's an issue. You're not supposed to be going on stage because of my feelings, mm, my brother. Not because of the man them. That I'm, I'm being real with you. That's not the right relationship anyway. We're not here. I'm just saying to you, under certain circumstances, people move particular ways. If yeah. I'm by myself and there's five guys mm. and one of them come up to me, I know them are not brave because there's five of them and there's one of me. Now, the guy that come up to me, if I see him with three or four of my guys, the circumstances are completely different. And guess what? It's still just me and him there. So I'm saying under these circumstances, I just think one guy, four gal at the front of any show that has a railing and a relatively good looking black man singing, we love me when I'm drunk, is a dangerous thing for the guy specifically. I just think it's it's not Beyonce at the front. I don't think you run the risk or danger of anything happening in that. I still wouldn't suggest that you do it. But with Omar Lay, who's gonna call a gal on stage? Would you be at the front of Chris Brown? It sounds like you're victim blaming. It does. I'm just saying, victim? (laughs) You're victim blaming. What do you mean? But what I'm saying, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. But what I'm saying. She's always gonna do it under the right circumstances. I feel like she's she's smart. And I'm with her. I I don't think she's wrong. I, I think the guy's wrong. I think if I think if he's they, upset, she's happy. She won. I think <laughs> if anyone was supposed to do anything, if anything, it yeah. was the friends then. Yeah. To stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro. If let's say they didn't let's say stop. Let's say if we're all around together, whatever, man's with his girl and whatnot, yeah. But there's a there's a situation that's presenting itself that looks kinda scrumptious, yeah. yeah. And everyone would love to be in that situation, but man's with his girl and that, yeah. When he's about to run close to go and do what he's doing, a man's supposed to say, one of the brothers is supposed to say, brother, remember you with your girl, you know? Oh, that's me. Remember? Uh, hey, man. you know, you just say it quietly. Hey, you know, there's going to be a conversation later. Yeah. Because that's, that's the thing. 
Yes. And me, my friends have that. Me and my friends have that. Sometimes it's like, I'm just letting you know that's going to be a conversation. Yeah. I'm just letting you know that's going to be a conversation. You don't mind Now, you can do whatever you want to do with that. But I'm just letting you know that's going to be a conversation. Do you know what I do from the start of the night? I, to everyone, I am a self-proclaimed cheater. Just being beside me should be an issue. If you're willing to do that, no matter question, not from the rest of the night. And more time, no one does anything. Because they recognise it's treacherous waters, let's just be careful and take care of everyone's family. It's all love. <laughs> I just think, honestly, you lot, this is dangerous circumstances for a guy. Oh, well, he's never going to the front again. Oh, never. And also, do you know what? To be honest with you, well, on, a deeper, one, now, on a deeper one, on happen. a deeper one, you know what? He's probably got a level of PTSD now. Don't do that. Uh, no, nah, he will. He will have a it's level just... of PTSD. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm not saying this is right, but what's probably going to happen now is that when he goes on other dates or when he's meeting other women or whatnot, he's going to be in extra oh. protection mode. Yeah? And that extra protection mode is going to be a little stress for the next woman that is that wants to get to know him and be around him because of this, because of that. All right, I don't know your name, my bro. I want you to go back to an album. I think it came out in the early 2000s. It's by a guy called Music Soul Child. I think it's track 13 on Just Listen. It's called Previous Cats. The oh, chorus goes, I really? am not to blame Music Soul Child. for the pain that was caused by previous cats. We now can't take the trauma from this very unique situation and give it to the rest of the wonderful women that you're going to meet because you're a great guy. You deserve a great woman, but stop making silly decisions. See, chucking you now. Come. Oh my god. This could help a lot of people. What a two. I referenced this the other day. Mad. 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 So, mad. yeah, I blame the guy. I think the girl won the night. Nah, you're a victim blaming. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but she, she had a well. Go on. I'm, I'm, I went to the, this concert with her. Like, as in, if oh. I was him, I went to the concert with her. Imagine what she's doing at concerts when I'm not there. Oh, shit. Well, imagine what she's just doing in life. In life. If, she, like if she's moving like this when I'm there, bro, she, she don't respect, man. Oh, no, to respect. What's that? She What's that? Really do you know what it is? She, she don't even... Love, beyond like beyond that. that, yeah, I feel like she has not... This is maybe a bit of a wild statement. Obviously, you lot just rein me in if I'm going too crazy. But is it... Am I safe to say she has a... a like not a... She doesn't have a strong level of respect for herself in certain areas purely because under the circumstances of a relationship, she would put something out in the media and public for people to question her integrity under them circumstances. Celebrity worship. That makes me go, well. celebrity worship. That makes me go, darling, how are you even setting yourself up for a man in the future if this is how you're operating today? Yeah. Maybe you're not ready. That I can appreciate that, but then you shouldn't put yourself in this situation. You should you should break up with him before Omar Lay. You're right. And then go do it. Well, I know. just think, you know? That's right, bro. And I, do you know what's so mad? She, <laughs> I bet you, hey, Chucky, is it mad to say she probably even got only got noticed because that guy was at the front with he's the only guy there yeah, 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 yeah. in the red shirt like if she was by herself he probably doesn't even you know notice what it is? Her. i can't take that type of embarrassment anyway oh chucky i can't i can't take that type i've of taken embarrassment. the embarrassment bad I embarrassment take that one there um yeah i can't take that um do you know what quick before we get into the uh howlers yeah just a quick serious one did you see um, I think we spoke about it on the pod time ago. Shamima Begum, you know who? Do you remember who she is? Yeah. So they denied her um, entry. Yeah. Are we speaking about? And so I started thinking about it. Huh? And her you passed. Her you died. Did you? Did he die? Uh, I, you know, I, I wasn't even going. So I wasn't going. I used to always speak about her on Gasworks. Always. I was just. I was going down like a mental rabbit hole when I was thinking about it. Yeah, because just quick. How old, I don't know how old. She, how old is she now? Now. 24 okay so you know what yeah my my with this situation here for, all right, for anyone who doesn't know yeah when she was 15 years old she left the country and went to go and join isis right yeah or maria yeah maria isis fighter um <clears throat> crazy so yeah which is yeah it's nuts crazy. so you know what yeah on one hand I was looking at when she was looking to come back in that, yeah. You know, 
the cynic in me was very much like, well, boy, obviously you've gone over there, you've realised it's not a rose, it's our red <laughs> thing, exactly. and violets are blue thing and whatnot. <laughs> and now you want to come back to the privilege, which is, I could see how, when you have two ops, like two people that are warring amongst each other and you go yeah. on the other side, I could see how one side says, nah, 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 nah. nah. You made that bed. You got a one. You, you got to light it. Yeah, you got to make that one warm. I hear that as well. So, I'm definitely with that. So here, but here's where, what? here's where, I started to. It started to change a little bit for me. Obviously, she's 15 years old and whatnot. Yeah, it does change something. When they denied her entry, yeah, I was like, I hear it, but then something came to mind, and let me know if I'm going mad. Yeah. So she left the country when she was 15 years of age to go and marry this man or whatnot. Yeah. In this country, she's a British citizen as well, right? She was. She was a British. They just revoked her thing. <laughs> yeah. That's gangster. Yeah. yeah. Come on. They, they like revoked Riley that quick. had an MBE. It's been revoked. Yeah, strongly. But he's not mad at that. Happy. Shouldn't be anyway. He's happy. He's happy. Um, Take it. So, in this country, yeah, a man or an adult cannot be in a relationship or in a sexual relationship with somebody who is under 16, right? So, that's called statute, right? Statute. Right. So, the country is essentially saying that you are either grooming or that person is not old enough to be able to make that decision for themselves to be in that relationship. So they take the power out of the child or the teenager, yeah, away from them and then place it onto the adult on a vibe of you should know better, mm -hmm. right? Do you see where I'm going with this now? 100%. So if this is what, if this is the principle in which the country stands on in that aspect, I don't, what's the difference? If she's 15 years old, if she's 15 years old and she's be, speaking to a guy who is a man, who is well, however old, I don't know, how old was he, 20s, 20 something. something years old or whatever, yeah? And he's, speaking to her whatever and he's managed to get her over there what is the difference between them two doing that and having their sexual relationship and the country's law in a, a 15 year old not being able to make a decision for themselves to be in a relationship because if we're saying that a 15 year old cannot have sex with a 20 something year old and the adult has done something wrong and is grooming involved in all of that, then surely the principles would be the same, right? So then if the principles are the same, then shouldn't they be turning around and saying, well, then essentially she was groomed, she was 15 years old, she wasn't in a, in a space where she was able to potentially or make the, the right decision for herself. So we need to bring her back. Do you understand what I'm saying? In this case, though, they haven't said that. They basically said, yo, 15 or not 15, statutory or no statutory, you're you went over, the country, there. You're going over there. You're going over there. Gone. Chucky, I feel I'm going to make, I'm going to go round and round to come back to where you are. It's going to make sense. Everyone just roll with me for a second. I'm wearing a Jamaica top by Adidas. This is an unsponsored ad. Shout out my brother Gil. It's all love. Four seasons out now. So this, just, just stay with me here. I think most stereotypes, such as Muslim individuals that look like this are potentially a danger, are perpetuated through media in various different ways. One of them happens to be through content. So through Hollywood or through films or EastEnders or so on and so forth. I remember when this happened. Off the back of 9-11, they shot a guy in the train, running for a train that oh, yeah, happened to him. He was Brazilian. And then we have now the birth of the quote unquote enemy, the way the Russian was the enemy to American media. Do we now have the Muslim man is the enemy? Yeah. So because of the circumstances in which this 15 year old was, um, so forth, because it's the enemy, we can have no sympathy for this young lady. Cause we've told the whole country, this is the enemy. 
Therefore, if anybody in this con uh, part of this situation feels that like they're going to try and endanger our, co our country, <coughs> we're not having it. Doesn't matter what's going on. Because of that mentality, that's the reasons why I would imagine this situation is a far unique case um, in the way it was. And had she been the type of individual to potentially endanger people, then maybe to a certain extent, I see why it is a unique case. Don't have to agree, but I see why it's a unique case. This is what I've seen happen recently in media. In 2018, something called The Bodyguard came out. The Bodyguard was a six part series on BBC. And it had a Scottish guy that was looking after someone from the Home Secretary. The Home Secretary. Who gets, actually, well, I won't reveal it all because it's actually a decent watch. But what I will say is they explored something within my mind where they keep the enemy the same, but they're exploring different potential dangers. Mm. I would say off the back of this conversation here, I want you to give it a watch. 100% yeah. give it a watch because you're, you're, it's going to make sense when you watch it now and maybe have even ruined it but the emotional roller coaster you're going to go on yeah. like, you've seen it in it it's going to for people that have seen it leave comments and let me, let me know what you think in the comment section and alone because this is such an interesting and because I only finished watching it a week ago so it's still fresh oh, in my okay, mind okay. I will say to you my brother it's interesting that. what you're saying right now because you are definitely touching on something that is for me, morally incorrect, and they shouldn't be dealing with it like this. If you ask me how I feel, this is unfair because it should be the same. It's a 15 year old individual who's very impressionable, who can potentially make a hell of a lot more mistakes than an older individual. But take a look at what they're doing in media. No, of course. Take a look at what they're doing in media. Bodyguards, go on. I just want to say, I think they set a precedent. Um, if they can reject her and revoke her. Ain't no one got a chance. No got a chance. I think it was a precedent, for example. I think if they let her in, Try. And come back. Oh, yeah, I hear that still. Old, they, no one's got a chance. Yeah. And the thing is, everyone in different in football it happens as well. Like when Glenn Hoddle gets the England job, he drops Gascoigne. When Steve McLaren gets the England job, he drops Beckham. It just says the top people can't get. It, no one's got a chance. Yeah, because I, I guess I guess all they need to do then is really just create a law to say that if, regardless of your age, you go and join the enemy this is what is likely to happen. They won't say this is what will happen. They say they will say that this is what could happen so that there's a leeway for them to be able to do that. Otherwise, if they don't do that, then an element in the principle and the law becomes a little bit fragile because people then would use that in different, no, in different cases. No, smart though, watch this. Pass my phone. I hear where you're coming from, watch this. And Scribbs is a man of truth, so I won't even question the validity of this tweet at all. And if I'm wrong, I can only apologise, but I really do trust Scripps. And he's a person that really cares about history. He tweeted something very interesting the other day. And I see where you're coming from, Chucky, but this is the reason why I say media is too, too smart. Too, too smart. They won't care about that. I'll tell you why. Uh, what did Scripps tweet the other day? Please let me find it. I've just got up. It would make it rubbish if I don't. And he doesn't answer his phone, so I can't find it. Basically, in the no, in 1953, do you know who the English people considered potentially the enemy? West Indian. No. no. 1953, I'm going to find it soon. Do you know who potentially was the enemy to the English? Portugal? The Jewish community. Oh. Why did I say oh, Portugal? No, they, were, they, were the, they were the enemy to the British. Wow. Yeah. So, today, is that the case? No. no. So, can they continue to have inconsistencies in history that people can look at like yes. that? Do you of reckon they, they will still continue to? Of in, course in they that, will. In that, I'm just talking about in terms of the enemy. I yes. just think when I don't know now. I think. Well, you say they won't have inconsistencies in regard in regards to dealing with enemies and in their this basic... capacity now. I don't know because it's, right. it's like everything's going towards money and yeah. skin tone. So I just think as long as right. that you have money and you're a particular skin tone, I don't believe you'll be the enemy anymore. It's becoming very divisive. I'm looking the way I'm looking at life. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm looking at it becoming very, uh, very classist and still very yes like that. So, do you think the outcome is different? What, what happened to the girl, the white girl? What's that, brother? There was a white girl that was in this. She left the country as well, didn't she? Or did she die? There was a white girl that left, right? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, she about converted that. to Islam or whatever, and then went and was uh, married another don somewhere. 
Someone will know exactly what I'm talking about, yeah? Okay. I think she might have actually died, though. Yeah. Anyway, pushing that aside, do you think that the outcome would become different if that was the case? If and it was, was a white girl? If she was a... I think they'll, it will be a grey area. Oh. So I'm not saying it won't go the same ways. Oh, no. I think there'll be a grey area. I think they'll create a grey area because they'll have... They'll have a comparison of story. She was this... Something happened to her. She became this. We can take her back to this. Right then. With Shamimi, it's she's always been this. Now yes. we're saying she's that. Right. She's never been okay. here. We don't believe her. Right. Which she's not one of our own. Right. Has she been a little bit more? But because she's this, it's like sorry, we don't see how you can be one of us type of thing. Well, and that's... that could be wrong. This is my assessment, my opinion. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's not wrong. That's where, I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, that's what I was getting to, but I just was testing to see what the vibes were. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Do you know what I, mean? I hear you, I hear but, you. Um, the bodyguard though, honestly. But, but ultimately, but ultimately, mm. just on a rude boy thing, yeah. I could see how a man says, yeah, now nah, fuck that though. <laughs> like, I could see how a, man, how a man would say, yeah, fuck that. Like, I don't even really know, can't really trust her. Like, like fuck that. She's not coming in the yard. Because next minute she comes in the yard now, you know what I mean? She takes out a BB pin, BB from her asshole, and then now she's texting my man and this, that. It's and this, crazy this, this, this now. Kind of stuff that could happen. I could see how somebody would say that. But, you know, in this civilization, we have laws and, you know, governments and things. That can change. And there's, yeah, exactly. And so, you know, there's these conversations that happen. And, and it just made me think. I was just like going down a little rabbit hole and I was thinking, oh, this is interesting. Like, this didn't happen because. Obviously, I'm like, well, if she's 15 years old and then we have this statue thing or whatever, it feels thing. There feels like there's an inconsistency in there somewhere, but there's all consistencies everywhere, innit? So, I, sometimes, I, sometimes I just like it when people just say, yeah, fuck it, man. We're just, I'm a hypocrite or it's inconsistent or whatever. Sometimes I just like that bit. But if the, hypo if the hypocrisy is consistent, then how can it be inconsistent? There you go, I hear it. Find out next week, aren't I? Right. Oh yeah, the tweet four from Scribs was uh, Four Seasons Out Now. Whoa, whoa, not next to that. Not next to that. Oh yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tweet also was, did you know that Britain held German Jews in the concentration camps during the Second World War? That was just, just for today, 2024, that just blew my mind. It blew my mind, but it made me realise with money, principles change, morals change. Winston Churchill It, it I, I've read some of that, you know. It was way before him as well. Yeah. And then Hitler ended up writing his pro product, which was called The Final Solution. So it was like... It and like yeah, and like you know Hitler's... Continued on bro. ...the other person's work. And Europe looked which at Hitler as the... I think that always happens as well. And Europe looked at him as a golden child. Yeah. And then years later, he's now the problematic <laughs> individual that they all... It's crazy, man. Now, I remember what I said. Crazy, I don't bro. know we talked about this before on the pod where I, I laid it out by saying that somebody could just say something or just do something and thousands of years later people are dying off that one that one thing that one conversation or that one thought process or that one philosophy that one philosophy and then and then, and then at the end of it bro they just die and you know when you get foresight and but I know, you know how mad that, that is nuts. And do you know what's even more nuts? And sorry to we just keep going into things, but what you just told me makes me think to myself, raw, like, so realistically, even with everything, influence is a gift. And you have the ability to do many different things with influence. If you take a look at the things that you can say one thing and have the influence to make problems still happen today, and then there's other people in situations that can say one thing and solve situations. Mm. Come on, DJ Khaled, man. What I'm getting to is just say free Palestine because <laughs> your cousin's not chatting to you now. It's crazy. Oh, he Fam, his but cousin stopped chatting to him, you know? His cousin came out and said, I'm not chatting to him no more. We're dropping him out. But hear what I'm saying, though. But Drake said it. Did he? Come on. October 2023. I will say this, though. I think sometimes maybe there are, maybe more people need to do one of two things. Go on. Either educate yourselves yes. on certain things or actually just don't even say anything. Because sometimes some people do come out and just try to jump on a 
a thing that they feel that they should do, but they know not one thing about it. Which is I'm true. Not saying, I'm not saying that it's true. Khaled, by the way. But no. I do think that the more people should just, at some times, just be quiet. But I always say if... Do you know but what it is, Chuck? That's dangerous this. too. That, that's dangerous too. Chucky, this is all I will say. This is, and I'll leave it here for DJ Khaled. Because with DJ Khaled, when I saw a flood happen in Jamaica, I don't know any of the people. I don't know nothing. But I feel certain. Yeah, I feel like, happening. yo, yeah, I yeah. feel compelled to do something. Yes, I hear it. I'm not saying I did something. I'm not saying I didn't do something. I'm not. I'm just saying I can't see my people suffer I hear it. and feel nothing. I don't understand how that's even possible. I hear it. I hear it. But I swear, I, watch the Jamaican one now. Yeah. I swear, go. I swear, go. Um, how does Manji do? Do you know what? Interesting, yeah. Because like so much dope lyricists dropped this week, poet, pot of paper, gets. I thought right. to myself, <laughs> I saw a tweet. I said it to you lot. Worst bars you've heard. Mm. And obviously, even I'm going to have some bars where you go, poet, what the hell was that? Brother, I found some of them. They are, hel- for me, hilarious. So who remembers the song um, Bedrock? Yeah. Do you remember Bedrock? Yeah. Was it Gooder Gooder that had this verse? <laughs> now, the reasons why that didn't make any sense to me is because even when he opens the fridge, there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets worse. This guy, I feel, I really, really, really love him. He's an incredible artist, but this is nothing personal. So they've all had like stink- said, everyone, everyone all has a had howlers. You're just trying to make something rhyme. So there was one individual, um, 60 plus, still does under 18 raid, but shout out my brother Tim Westwood. <laughs> or not. Um, Davido. We all have howlers. Who remembers That's the right. man I love the most, man? One of the, everyone always goes, who's better? Biggie or Tupac? Biggie or Tupac? Oh, Biggie's had some crazy lines, though. Anything crazier than this? Stick. That is That's outrageous. Outrageous. That is outrageous. That is outrageous. And do you know what? You know I if Biggie was alive, yeah? Like, in, I would say, like, this generation now would not let that go. That's coming up in every interview. What do you mean? That's coming up. That's a spray bi- every week. Yeah, spray. Yeah, every week. Yeah. Every week spray. <coughs> but do you know what? You can also spray things that are just <laughs> what you think are really, really important, but maybe no one else does. And we all have our own passions. Who is that? Is that Ti? No, that's the man who made Panda. Oh, is it? Oh my Does. god! <laughs> oh my! Oh my! But look, god. I can't do that to everyone, and not for me. The man that I always think has howlers. Now, this guy is a, a rapper, bro. Um, he's probably, arguably, my f- my favourite rapper of all time. If you're going to that, by the way, I thought that was hilarious. This is a... No, not this. this not Tyler. Tyler's, this That's funny. We'll play that in a bit. Go on. The artist I want to go to, because and you know I love you. You were my most listened to artist last year. So we let's not pretend that I don't love this man. But we all have howlers. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I don't know. I'm not. I'm just saying it sounds like a howler. I'm not saying it is, but I know what it sounded like to me. Right. Future in the present, I would like some clarity. Yeah, I'm sure Future's got a few of them. To be honest with you, don't you dare He's hidden behind these wave. But um, I don't like Chucky. Oh, <laughs> Eminem's got the worst, by the way. Oh yeah. Well, Eminem's just trying. That's the thing. It's like this is what happens when managers try to just rhyme. I hate tryhards. Go to go play. Play the one that I'm um, Chucky saying. But though. I remember watching this. Yeah, and this is hilarious. Yeah. Anyways. All right, man. Two more howlers before I disappear and leave you guys. One of them is I'm advising the people at home. Yes, all of the parents. A lot of us. If you've heard Mount Rushmore with Wretch gets and uh, Kane, are letting you know they're all parents, and I don't imagine they will let their child read a book called. 
Mary has a little pussy. PJ. Mary has a little cat. One of the one of the pages in Mary has a little Mary has a little pink pussy. Pink cat. And obviously they got a cat, but this is the wording. She she likes t she loves her pussy so much she strokes it every night. Loves her cat so much that she strokes it every night. This is a kids book. This is crazy. Mary likes to show her pussy to all her friends. Oh she God. invites her friends to stroke her pussy oh as God. well. Now, look. Next one's crazy. Oh, first, should we go there? I didn't want to, but let's she go to it. To show her cat to all of her friends. She invites her friends to stroke her cat as well. You ready for the next page? One of Mary's friends, Tommy, has a big cock. The big cock couldn't help oh but God, behaved God. excitedly when it saw the pussy and started flapping. Look, 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 look. I understand you're out here trying to do double entendre, but we don't do that with a picnic. No. We protect the picnic. We're here as men to protect women and kids. Let's protect the picnic. I'm not saying we're not gonna get it wrong sometimes, but this just feels like old Disney films to me. This just feels like Jeffrey Epstein to me. This just feels like, who's that guy that used to work at the BBC? That's what it feels like to me. Mr. Savile, let's just stay away from them days. We're in better days today. Companies are more educated. They understand that we can't be going against all of these things. Let's just put a stop to these little things, right? Yes, sir. Where we're trying to infiltrate, pick me them mind. We have to put some, you know, love into that. Not this F3, right? Yes, sir. No good. It's no good. And last but not least, I don't really know much about this girl. Oh, that's not the one now. Nah, I'll allow her today, actually. That's crazy. I'll buddy. give her a blight. The one I'm going to give is not so much a howler, but it's kind of interesting. And I never, ever knew it until someone said, Poet, you're right about the flowers thing from last week on the pod. And I was like, why? What do you mean? He's like, I don't even know what flowers mean anymore mm. as well. The James Morrison thing. Mm. And then he goes, I'm going to send you something which is quite interesting. And it is. It's from a guy called It's J Main. I like him a lot. Uh, he has got this dope thing where there's a song by Bruno Mars called Flowers. And oh, I yeah. didn't realise Miley Cyrus done a direct response to the song. Oh. Watch this. Oh, oh mad. Oh, mad. I just found that mad interesting that Miley Cyrus is sending for Bruno Mars. Yeah, that's nuts. That's, and it's just... Wait, and people only just... I've only got this a now. Thing? Was that a thing? I n obviously, I'd um, never remembered it being... Wouldn't I wouldn't have, have known. known, but yeah. I was just like, raw, because I never would have listened to them two songs like yeah. in a collection of music. That's, yeah. But yeah, so people... Also, someone left a comment saying... Poet, you should do some research on what flowers, why people actually get flowers and so on and so forth. I want you to know I fucking love you. Thank you for that. But I'm just wow. lazy, man. I've got yeah, loads of things yeah, to do. Sure. Do this favour. Leave a comment and tell us what flowers yeah, actually exactly. mean. Please. In a, in a nutshell, please. In a nutshell, man. Or without the nutshell. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Four hey. seasons. Out now. Come yeah. on, man. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. Yeah. Love. Thank you, Gil, for the Adidas.